Hello friends, welcome to the channel Solution. Today, in this video, we will demonstrate you how we can determine the bulk density of any powder by using bulk density apparatus. Means, how to operate bulk density apparatus to determine the bulk density of given powder. This video is also available in Hindi explanation. Link of the video is given in the description box. So what is bulk density and why we determine the bulk density of any powder? This I will explain you at the end of this video. And along with this I will explain you the calculation part of the bulk density means how to calculate the bulk density of any powder. So first of all let's know what are the different parts of bulk density apparatus. This apparatus is the bulk density apparatus and this button is on off button. Next to this on off button, this is the timer and to set the time, we can rotate this knob according to our requirement means according to the number of tapping and time of tapping. When we set the time, then this green indicator will get on. Next this knob is speed setting knob to set the speed of tapping means we can increase or decrease the speed of tapping by this knob. And at the top of this bulk density apparatus. You can see there are two measuring cylinder or you can say graduated cylinder means they are the marking in the measuring cylinder to measure the volume and you can see here this is of total 50 ml capacity of measuring cylinder and there is a marking with difference of 5 means marking start from the 5 and then in the difference of 5 means 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 up to 50 ml means each part is divided into 10 division so the value of each division in this measuring cylinder is equal to 0.5 ml so according to this we have to measure the volume of powder here you can see this is the cap of this measuring cylinder and we fix this measuring cylinder in the holder like this next i will demonstrate you how we will operate the bulk density apparatus first switch on the power button then Rotate and set this knob to set the time of tapping according to our number of tapping required and according to the time we have to set the speed. Next we have to set the speed control knob, rotate it anti-clockwise to set the speed of tapping means we have to set the speed in such a way so that to complete the total number of tapping we require within the time which we have set in the timer means we have to set the time and speed according to the total number of tapping required so here you can see how the tapping occur means you can see here how the shaft lift the cylinder put the cylinder up at the specific distance then again back to the downward direction to hit on the base so this is how tapping occur means when we fill the border inside the measuring cylinder then this is how the tapping occur when we further rotate this knob, means the speed control knob, in the clockwise direction, then you can see how the speed of tapping also get increased. So, we set the appropriate tapping speed by the speed control knob to determine the bulk density. Next, I will show you how we can determine the bulk density of any powder by using bulk density apparatus. So, first of all, we have to take a powder of which we want to determine the bulk density. Then pass this powder to the US standard sieve number 20. Here we have taken some amount of the powder then pass to the sieve number 20 and here we have transfer some more amount means extra amount of the powder because we have to fill this powder in both the measuring cylinder in equal amount. Here we have taken powder of calcium carbonate. After passing the powder to sieve number 20, then we have to weigh this powder. Here we have weighed 25 gram of the powder for each measuring cylinder. This powder is of heavy category, means this is heavy powder. Heavy powder is the powder which are having low bulk volume or you can say high bulk density. For example, like heavy magnesium oxide, heavy magnesium carbonate and if light powder, Light powder means powder having high bulk volume or low bulk density. Example of light powder, light magnesium oxide or light magnesium carbonate. In that case, in the case of light powder, we can measure 5 or 10 gram of the powder for 100 ml measuring cylinder. Because our powder is of heavy category and our measuring cylinder is of 50 ml capacity. So here we have weighed 25 gram of the powder 
two times to fill both the measuring cylinder of bulk density apparatus. After weighing 25 gram of the powder, then transfer this powder in one of the measuring cylinder with the help of spatula. And just like this, fill the other measuring cylinder with 25 gram of the powder. Here you can see we have already filled both the measuring cylinder with the powder. And after this we have to cap this measuring cylinder like this. Here our measuring cylinder is of 50 ml capacity. That's why we have weighed 25 gram of powder. So that to fill the measuring cylinder up to uh, about 40 ml mark. And if our measuring cylinder is of 100 ml capacity, then we have to weigh about 50 gram of the heavy powder so that to fill it up to about 75 ml mark. Then after this, fix properly both the measuring cylinder containing powder one by one into this holder on the top of the bulk density apparatus. After this, adjust the knob of timer and speed control knob for 125 tapping. Means, first we have to set the apparatus for 125 tapping. And here you can see, when we have set this timer and speed setting knob, Tapping starts. As long as this 125 tapping is going on, let's know what is bulk density and why we determine the bulk density of any border. Bulk density is mathematically defined as the bulk density is equals to the weight of the border divided by the bulk volume of the border. And what is bulk volume? Bulk volume of any border includes its true volume and volume of interparticle spaces or you can say voids and volume of intraparticle pores and this total volume is the bulk volume of that border. What is true volume? True volume is the actual volume of the solid border and what is volume of interparticle space? Volume of interparticle space is the volume of space between the particles of the border and intraparticle pore volume means the volume of the pores present in each particle of the powder. So what is bulk volume? It is the total volume which includes true volume plus volume of the interparticle space plus intraparticle pores. So when we fill any powder in the measuring cylinder, then what happens? The particle of the powder packed in the measuring cylinder in such a way that large amount of gaps may be present between the particles. That's why tapping is required. Because tapping of the powder allows the particle to shift, means to move, means in order to remove the large gap, means the large space between the particles of the powder, means to remove the voids to get the minimum volume, we require tapping to get the minimum volume. In this condition, means after tapping, the volume occupied by the powder represent the bulk volume and when we put this value of the final bulk volume in the formula of the bulk density for a given weight of the powder, after calculation, we get the bulk density of that powder. Here you can see, after tapping, the volume of the powder is very much reduced from the initial volume. Initial volume of the powder is around 40 ml. And after tapping, volume is reduced to near about 25 ml. So, let's know why we determine the bulk density of any powder. Means, what is the application of bulk density? First, to check the uniformity of the bulk chemical, we determine the bulk density of that powder chemical. Next, at the time of production, which size of the container is suitable? Means, to select the size of the container and to select the size of mixing apparatus for the mixing of powder, we determine the bulk density of that powder. And also to select or you can say to determine the proper size of the packing material of the powder, we determine the bulk density of that powder. And also for choosing the size of empty gelatin capsule for filling of the medicament, we determine the bulk density of that medicine. So these are the some of the application of bulk density determination of powder. After the completion of total 125 tapping, means the timer and the speed which we have selected for 125 tapping is completed, then the tapping process will automatically stop, you can see here. And after the end of tapping, we have to note the volume of powder in the measuring cylinder. Here you can see the volume of powder is 25.5 ml because here the level of the powder is 1 division above the mark 25. 
and as I have told you in the beginning, the one division of this measuring cylinder is equal to 0.5 ml. That's why the volume of powder here is 25.5 ml. Again adjust the knob of timer and the speed for another 50 tapping. Means again we set the apparatus for tapping of the powder 50 times more. Here you can see as I have told you we have filled the same amount of the powder in both the measuring cylinder in order to proper balance the arm of the bulk density apparatus. That's why we fill both the measuring cylinder with same amount of powder at the time of tapping. Now you can hear the sound of tapping. Previously we have muted the sound of tapping so that my voice can be audible clearly to you means to avoid the background voice disturbance we have muted the tapping sound. After 50 tapping completed, again note the volume of powder in the measuring cylinder. Here you can see the volume of the powder is again 25.5 ml as previous volume. Means previous value of the volume after 125 tapping is also 25.5 ml. And again after 50 tapping, again the value means the volume is same means 25.5 ml. Means there is no change in the volume on further after 50 tapping. Means here two subsequent value of the volume are same. So here we have to stop the trapping process and this 25.5 ml is the final bulk volume of our powder. If after 50 tapping volume of the powder reduces from the previous value means 25.5 ml is our previous reading and after 50 tapping if this value vary means value decreases again we have to set the apparatus for more 50 tapping means we have to perform the tapping process till the two subsequent values means two subsequent volume are same and because here our both the volume are same after tapping we stop here and switch off the apparatus and here you can see the volume of the powder in both the measuring cylinder are same that is 25.5 ml and we note this final volume as bulk volume. Next the calculation part of the bulk density. So here the weight of the powder which we have taken is equals to 25 gram. Next the concurrent volume of the powder after tapping means first 125 tapping and then 50 tapping. Both the time we obtain the same volume means concurrent volume. So this is the final reading that is the bulk volume equals to 25.5 ml. And the formula of the bulk density is equals to weight of the powder divided by bulk volume of the powder. And when we substitute this value means the weight of the powder 25 ml and the bulk volume of the powder 25.5 ml. And after calculation we obtain the value 0.98 gram per centimeter cube. So the bulk density of the sample powder which we have taken is equals to 0.98 gram per centimeter cube. If the bulk density apparatus is not available, then how we can determine the bulk density in that condition? In that case, take a measuring cylinder of 100 ml capacity, then fill this measuring cylinder with the powder. In case of heavy powder, you can weigh about 50 gram. And in case of light powder, you can weigh about 5 or 10 gram of the powder. And after sieving and weighing this powder, fill this powder in the measuring cylinder. And after this, measuring cylinder is dropped onto a hard wooden surface three times from a height of one inch at an interval of two seconds. And repeat this process to get concurrent reading, means same reading from the subsequent tapping by this way. Normally concurrent result can be obtained if the measuring cylinder is dropped or you can say tapped for 500 times. And the concurrent volume will be the final bulk volume of that border and then we can determine the bulk density. So this is how we can determine the bulk density of any border using bulk density apparatus. Thank you very much for watching this video.